say good morning. It's good to have everyone with us again today. We're thankful for those who will be following us uh, on the internet also. We pray that you all will again have their open Bibles, open minds as we go about another study this morning. As uh, was pointed out, uh, by Mike, uh, we can't get away from Revelation sometime. We've been studying Revelation on Bible class and will be for the uh, the upcoming foreseeable future, let's put it that way, however long that might be if the Lord doesn't come again. But today our study is going to be called the, the Revelation to Rulership, and it's going to come from Matthew the 19th chapter and verses 16 through 20. Matthew the 19th chapter, beginning verse number 16 and going through verse 20. It says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, or teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, and that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father, father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And the young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? And that question was one that was going to come back to haunt him later on. This young man, he comes to Jesus. He's got a question on his mind. He's ready to bring it forth to Jesus. And the first part of this question may suggest that he had some idea of personal achievement. You know, I call it the old breaking your arm off uh, achievement because he's patting himself on the back so much and saying how great I am. And perhaps we can look at this and, and he's thinking of this, I'm going to ask this, this teacher, I'm going to ask him, what am I lacking? Because he's going to tell me these things. I've done all them. I mean, I am just perfect. There's nothing that's going to be out there that's going to be wrong. But the second part is again, most certainly, it's a needed for him to realize his shortcomings. The entire incident suggests this, that this young man, he knows about God, he knows of what God has revealed, but he's not familiar with the rulership of God. He's, you know, hopefully in this study, as we go about it this morning, it's going to be a simple study because you know I'm pretty simple-minded, and so it, it can't be anything, you know, real educated that those words don't have meanings. You know, that's what I call those words that I don't understand, words that don't have meanings to the common person. But I usually stay away from those. But hopefully our study this morning will take us from revelation to rulership so that we can truly identify what God would have us to do, what God would want us to do. And so we start out there with the very first thing that comes to our mind is thou shalt. You know, we always think about that. Thou shalt, thou shalt not. Isn't that what we, you know, take, take a look at the Ten Commandments back in Exodus chapter 20 as, as we do good there. You know, God revealed his commandments. And we look at thou shalt, it's an expression representative of his doing so. And not everything begins with that formula, though. Not every, everything begins with thou shalt not, thou shalt not, or thou shalt, thou, thou shalt. It, it, we don't see that throughout the Holy Scriptures. But clearly God has definite things which he requires that his people must do and will do. And remember in the first covenant. The first covenant had its requirements, as we just pointed out there in Exodus chapter 20. You know, we always think of what's in the park. You know, and even here in Kearney, Nebraska, what's in our park is still in our park. If I, if I am not mistaken, I haven't been looked at them lately, but a lot of public parks even still have the Ten Commandments. You know, in, written in stone uh, today, and sometimes, you know, they're moved someplace else because somebody doesn't like them. But we think about that. God had commandments for his people. He said, here it is. Here's the list. And of course, there were more than 10 commandments in the Old Testament. I believe there's over 600 different laws that the Jews were supposed to follow. And that's, again, something we need to remember. The old law was written to a particular people at a particular time. It was written strictly to the Jews. It was not written to the Gentiles. Now we do know that there were Gentiles who converted, 
but the law itself was for the Jews. In Matthew, the 22nd chapter, in verses 37 through 40, again, we have the teacher, which is the great commandment of law, back in verse number 36, or master. And Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And it says, On these two commandments hang what? All the law and the prophets. These are the great commandments according to the Holy Scriptures in, in the New Testament. Ma master, teacher, which is the great commandment? And he's talking about in the law. And Jesus indeed pointed it out to him. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, <clears throat> we have a passionate warning. 